Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. Uh, this week I'm going to be working on the area around Mill Valley Motors. Um, getting all of this area through here paved. Really, most of it is going to be paved in between the buildings here, up along this way, the parking lots in that direction. That's what I'm going to be working on. And then once I have all that in, I'll be doing, you know, more landscaping type things uh, in, in patches. Um, so my plan for this is, you know, I, I need to basically raise the concrete to the height of the tracks um, just to give it like, you know, a paved look where the track is embedded in the pavement. Um, so, you know, work trucks can, can cross the tracks. Forklifts can go across the tracks with no problems. Um, all around the facility. So in order to do that, I have to bring up, uh, you know, this base layer about five eighths of an inch to, is to the top of the railhead. So give or take somewhere in that range. Um, thought about getting half inch foam and laying it down and then do, you know, spackle, drywall mud, whatever I have to kind of fill in around the tracks. But that would involve, you know, buying more materials. And when I took this area out, I took out the big hill. You can see where that plywood is showing through. I had a big hill there in all that area, and I have uh, one inch foam. Well, it is sitting right here in a huge chunk. And I kind of just want to use that. I have it. Why go buy more if I have stuff? The only problem is, you know, it's, it's an inch thick. So it's gonna be a little more work. I'm gonna lay this down. At least this is the plan for now, we'll see. I'm gonna lay this down with, with liquid nails, uh, let it dry you know, for a day or so, so that it sets in. And then I'm gonna come back and um, shave the foam down to the height that I want it to be. Um, again, yeah, I know it's more work, but I already have the materials. I don't need to go anywhere and buy anything. And I have a lot of that foam left over, so I think I'm gonna try that first. If it fails miserably, the next clip will be me uh, with a you know new purchase from Lowe's or Home Depot. But for now, that's gonna be the plan, and we're gonna go from there. So more to come shortly. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought plan A would work, but we're going with plan B. I just broke down and got some half inch foam. Um, I didn't realize it was going to be necessarily that cheap. It was only 15 bucks, and I just bit the bullet. So I was trying to pull these apart. You know, they were all liquid nails together. Um, that stuff's strong. Um, and bits and pieces, I should show, bits and pieces were just breaking off, you know. So that wasn't really going to work. Um... The other thing is, I mean, yeah, I probably could have salvaged enough from there to put on this area. Um, but once I started, you know, shaving it down with one of these guys, um, my concern with the small pieces was that they were all going to come loose. Uh, I know liquid nails are strong, but I, I've worked on it with, you know, some smaller hills. And it tends to want to come loose if you're going too hard. And, you know, trying to take a half inch off of that one inch foam, I, I feel like was going to really test the boundaries. So... For $15, I figured I would just bite the bullet, go with what I know is going to work a lot easier, and avoid a whole lot of work. Um, that wasn't the goal necessarily, but yeah, I think it's the better route. So, not everything goes as planned in model railroading, as all of you guys know, and we will mark this Liquid Nails 1, Jake 0. Uh, but now I'm going to get this laid in. I do have it chopped into pieces because I picked it up in my car and I don't need it to be a whole 4x8 sheet. Um, but that's fine. These are big enough pieces I'll cut out and shape around the track and around the facility and get going from there. All right, I have all of the foam laid, cut out roughly where I want it to be. Kind of hard to see right now, but you can see a plethora of college textbooks, most of which are my wife's, because she is smarter than me. Go figure, right? Um, yeah, tell me something you don't know. Um, 
So these are just gonna dry, liquid nails, um, put the weight on them, let them dry for a day, and then I can come in and start shaping it up a little bit and doing some of the spackle to uh, go over the rails and whatnot. Um, I did mention earlier I, was, I needed 5 eighths of an inch height. Um, I don't know where I came up with that, I'm an idiot. This is half an inch and you really can't tell very good here, but it's higher than the rail height. I actually need 3 eighths of an inch, so maybe I was thinking I'm taking 5 eighths off of the 1 inch foam. Anyway, um, don't know where that number came from, so at any rate, have the half inch foam in, it is drying. And the next segment you'll see is hopefully some shaped foam and some spackle drying. Alrighty, the foam is dry and glued. Spackle has just been spread to make a huge mess. Uh, to kind of give that feel of, you know, pavement and embedded tracks. Um, I used the whole entire uh, container of this spackle. Um, so I, I couldn't even cover, you know, this. Obviously the building's gonna, one part of the building's sitting here and another part is right here. Um, but I still do wanna cover all this area in through here because just painting the foam, you know, it doesn't look like a, doesn't look like pavement, so. <clears throat> Still need to do that, so I'm going to have to purchase some more of that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just waiting for this to dry. Then it'll get painted, and then obviously, you know, around the rail, you know, inside, I'll have to clear out the, the flanges there so we can actually push some boxcars and auto racks back in here. But uh, for now, it's a waiting game for this to dry. Alrighty, the spackle is dry and the initial coat of gray paint is down. I used a couple of different colors just because all pavement is not the same in real life. Um, got the flanges cut out as well. I've been rolling some box cars and stuff through here just testing. Um, the paint's a little wet so you can kind of see some shine there. Also, some white patches showing through. It just kind of happens when you paint this stuff. And what I'm going to do is come back with a darker gray or a black to just kind of simulate some cracks and patches and whatnot in the pavement. Um, you know, still lots to do here, obviously. But I think for this video, I'm going to wrap it up um, with this much being done. Um, future is going to show, you know, parking lot, um, curbs getting added, things like that. I think if I try to pack that all into one video, we're going to be looking at a half an hour video and I just, that's a little lengthy, uh, for me to hold your attention. <laughs> Trust me. Um, so yeah, gray paint is drying. The, the part on the far side over there, kind of where that parking kiosk is, which I don't think I've shown, um, and little, you know, like parking arms. I got one up in the air a little bit simulating it's, it's raising to let an employee in. Um, did a little weathering powders as well. Got a truck sitting back there. He's going back to the back of the building. Just getting an idea of how things are going to work. Over on that left side is that parking lot I'm going to work on as well. Um, and also... Kind of how that truck loops around, you know, it comes in the entrance, loops around. A little bit of a space there. That's probably going to be the company sign. I have been working on a logo for the for Mill Valley Motors. Um, so that'll be coming shortly to kind of show you what that's going to look like. But for now, I think this video is just kind of the basics. The pavement, um, you know, raising you know, that foam up a half an inch to kind of get it in line with the tracks. Um, this will get scenic with grass and bushes and whatnot along through here and obviously ballast um, once we get to that point. But for now, I think that's going to wrap this one up 
for this week. Um, more to come in the future. Thanks as always for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to, um, you know, watch this to the end to kind of see where it goes from here. But certainly more details are coming to finish the scene here at Mill Valley Motors. Uh, thanks as always for watching. I really value everyone's support uh, through doing these videos. So until next time, this is Jake from the Mill Valley Sub. We'll see you. Thank you.